What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Keep Living Motor Vlog. I am the KL Rider. So these are the Michelin Road 6 tires. And these are the most talked about tires um, on the planet for motorcycles. Kind of doesn't matter what type of bike you have. Sport bike, naked bike. I'm not sure if they make them for Harleys or any of those bigger bikes. I'm not sure. But any of your little sport touring bikes or whatever the case is, I think they have these. Um, available so first impressions I actually got these about uh, three days ago and I was actually able to test them in some really harsh environments because I'm out here in Florida well I'm in South Florida and we didn't get really affected by the hurricane like they did up north in Tampa um, but we did experience um, a little bit of wind and some rain so I actually got a chance to uh, test these bad boys out <clears throat> before I get into that I just want to show you what the tires look like these tires are they're awesome i mean you look at these these treads deep these deep cuts here the water siping this is a very unique looking tire very rugged looking back area back here yeah this tire looks it looks mean and <clears throat> we're going to get into the functionalities of it so this is the back tire i uh, rock a yamaha r3 2021 version um, my rear tire is a 4140 from the other side of the rear tire look at those cuts I mean these cuts are absolutely ridiculous the treads deep with that water siping this is very unique very unique and then going over to the front tire my front tire is a 110 70 so the front tire looks the same design with these cuts see the mission and logo very nice logo etched into the tire very clear markings it's very clear crisp you can see the Michelin and that's the size of the tire right there so it's the same for the back and uh <clears throat> this is how I look uh, a little bit from a distance a quick little walk around so the biggest thing about these tires is the performance factor and I have to say that I am super amazed um, at these tires and their performance and I'm going to compare them to um, my main tires that I normally buy because I think it's going to be, be a, a really good direct comparison. And normally everyone knows the Yamaha comes with the um, the stock tires, which is the, uh, the Dunlap 300 Sport Max. And I like those tires, you know, those super duper budget tires. They do the job well. If you need tires, you need to get on the road and be okay. Those tires actually perform okay. However, the Michelin Roll 6s are on another level. But I still think these tires have some competition that competition to me is going to be the pirelli diablo rosso rosso tools and here's why these tires all right these tires stick okay they stick mission of road sixes they stick when you ride you're going to have absolute confidence on the road all right however for me with the diablo rosso tools those tires they don't just stick those tires are sticky and gummy at the same time Meaning that when you're on the road, you feel planted on the road. Like you literally feel inside the road. These tires, you feel stuck to the road like you're on the road. But the Diablo Rosso 2s, those tires make you feel like you're in the road. Like you're on, you're on a monorail system and you're not going nowhere. Especially in the corner. The Diablo Rosso 2s, when you lean in the corners with those tires, you can lean as much as you want. I'm talking like 110%. And you will not feel like you're going to fall off your bike. Don't get me wrong. These tires, they feel close to it. But I don't have that 100% confident lean angle as I do with the, uh, the Rosso 2s. Now, like I said, these stick and they do well in corners. They do absolutely well in corners. Don't get me wrong. You're not going to fall over. You're not going to drop your bike. But the difference between the stickiness and the gumminess of these and the Rosso 2s, me personally, I favor the Rosso 2s. Now, as far as 
uh, performance. These Michelin row sixes, when you select the lane that you want to be in, you are in that lane. You are not swifting. You're not swerving. You're not constantly moving left to right. Like these stick. And for some reason, when this bike is literally really upright, you choose a lane, lane one, lane two, lane three, whether you have to swerve over. Once you do that swerve and you're going straight into that next lane position, you're in it. You're not swerving around. You're not falling off balance and it doesn't feel like, you know, you lose traction at all. Like the upright traction on this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, when you actually um, are at speed, this is where these tires really shine. I'm going to tell you right now, the Diablo Rossos, like I said, they're sticky, they're gummy. They feel like you're in the road. With these, like I said, you feel like you're on top of the road and you stick good. However, with these tires, they are fast. Like you feel the speed, but you feel the stickiness at the same time. So not only you feel like you're going fast, but you also feel sticky. With the Rosso 2s, the Rosso 2s, you feel sticky, but you don't feel like you're going fast. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, cause it feels like you're in the road and that's a good feeling. You, you, that's a good feeling how you want to feel. But if you want to get speed, these, these tires, these tires right here stick and they get you off the line extremely quickly. And as you get off the line, you're maintaining a hundred percent balance. Like I said, there's no swerving or anything like that. It stays in its lane. I don't know if that makes any sense uh, for anybody. Um, <clears throat> but when it comes to swerving, you know, swerving left or right, once you get into that swerve lane that you're in, like you're in it, you know, it's like it puts you there and you don't deviate from it, you know, by accident. So if you have to, you know, counter steer hard around something or swerve around an obstacle in the road, you can be 100 percent confident that your bike is not going to slide from up under you, especially if you have to do a double slur swerve, excuse me, a double swerve left and right especially if it's real tight um you're gonna love these tires now the rosso tools you can do that with the rock with the rosso tools but with the rosso tools like i said it feels like you're going you're going a little bit slower like you can definitely feel the difference um with the rosso tools uh compared to these here's the main thing as to whether or not you're going to choose these tires over maybe some of the tires that you currently love like for me it was the rosso too first uh with the price these are going to be more expensive because the diablos you know that now they're up to like number four so there's the rosso threes and then there's the rosso fours so pick your choice and i haven't used the rosso threes or fours because i've been completely satisfied with the two um and their performance now <clears throat> performance wise uh we talked about that but here's the big caveat the price you're going to be paying a lot more for these tires the michelin road sixes than you will uh the diablo rosso twos um and i don't know if they're going to fade the, the um the rosso twos out i'm not sure but so far i've still been able to pick those up all right but these tires are going to cost exponentially a little bit more um than those tires and even maybe some of the current tires that you may have on your bike but i would say is it worth it yeah it's it's worth it um cost factor cost factor to performance wise i think it's 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 worth it and for me why it's worth it for me is because these tires while they may cost a little bit more here's the thing according to the hype and according to what the manufacturers say these tires you don't have to worry about you know constantly changing them out so i would say possibly around you know every you know maybe once a year once a once a year i'm gonna have to change these tires out the Rosso tools i love the thing about the Rosso tools is that the Rosso tools i have to buy them at least twice a year so they only last between you know five to six months and then you know you could push it to six months and then i change them out they probably last a little, little bit longer i'm not sure but i just normally change them out every six months because i can i can see the um how the tire you know starts to flatten out you know flatten out in in the back so once that starts happening i literally just go and change the tires the edges of the rosso tools never wear out because i'm only doing so much leaning and cornering and stuff like that so um and i'm a i'm a 100 um commuter so i'm not on the racetrack so the edges always last long so i don't really feel the need to hurry up and rush and change the tires but I always change them out every six months because the mid patch, the mid patch here is what wears out the quick. Apparently with these, you know, you're supposed to get a lot of mileage out of these. I can't remember, you know, how much, um, but I'm looking these to, to last for one year. And I mean both the front and the back tire. If these can last for one year without me having to change the tire, these are going to be my go-to tire. I'm just going to let everybody know right now. Treads, great. If, if these tires, Michelin logo, if these tires, if these tires last 
a long time and they last for at least a year these are going to be my go-to tire so if you can't get these if i can't get these i'm definitely going to get the arousal tools as normal but you know these are going to be my go-to tires and i absolutely love these tires um they feel good on the road they don't feel they just feel good they feel exceptionally good um i would say the hyper is real as far as how they feel now we have to see if the hype is real as far as how long they actually last. So the Diablo Rossos, I can get two times a year out of those. Like I said, if I can get uh, one year, at least one year out of these, I will be happy with that. And these will be my go-to tire. Now, if they last actually longer than that, it's a no-brainer. So you're going to get your money's worth um, with these tires. You're definitely going to get your money's worth. So, And for me, the most important thing on my bike is not the muffler. It's not shorty levers. It's tires. Got to have good tires. Got to have a good chain. You know, you got to have, you know, both of those, you know, for the, for, you know, for the most part. For just basic, you know, basic maintenance, your tires is what's going to keep you alive, you know, on the street. And one last thing, these tires, not only are they fast, but they stick so well that when you come to a stop, they stop. You know, they sticky stop. So be careful with your front brakes. <laughs> I had to learn that quick. I was like, man, they feel like I literally got new front brake, you know, after, you know, riding with these tires. I got actually, <laughs> I actually felt like I got new front brake stopping with this particular tire. So that's it. Um... That's my review. You know, quick review of the Michelin Road Sixes. Like I said, I just had them for a couple of days. I rode in some wet conditions, you know, already. It was Everything was pretty good. Um, I didn't feel no slipping and sliding. Yeah, so um, all I got to do now is just test the longevity of these tires and see if what they're talking about is what they're talking about. What tires do you rock with? Like I said, I will always rock with the, the Russell Diablo 2s. I love those tires. But as of right now, these are going to replace those. And I'm just going to see if these tires can last longer than the Russell 2. And if these tires last longer than the Russell 2s, guess what? These are going to be my go-to tires. Are you going to pick these up? I'm going to leave a link. Um, I'll leave a link in the description uh, down below. I actually got these um, off of Amazon, believe it or not. Because uh, sometimes, you know, these tire places and motorcycle shops they got to order them for their manufacturer and a lot of times they just don't have them so i'm gonna leave them in uh, a link in the description below leave comments in the description let me know what you're rocking with i am the ko rider and i'll catch you guys on the next one keep leaving keep leaving